What is going on, you guys? It's The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, most of you guys know me for my Flipper Zero content, but did you know there's a new up-and-coming device that's looking to put Flipper Zero to shame? Now, it claims to have pretty much all the functionality of Flipper Zero, but with added Wi-Fi. So, of course, when I heard about this, I felt I had to dig deep into it. Now, the deeper I dug into it and the more questions I asked, the more questions I had, quite honestly. Now, if any of you guys were around for the Flipper Zero Kickstarter, you know there was plenty of controversy surrounding that. And of course, with this Kickstarter, it's no exception. Now, it's only been a few months since the Kickstarter, but the community's response to this has been tumultuous at best. Yeah, that's right, I'm breaking out SAT words on a Sunday. So what is this device? Well, I'm talking about none other than the Cypher Pro. I've been meaning to take a deep dive into this thing for a while, so I'm super excited. Let's get at it. Okay, well, the Kickstarter started all the way back in September of 2023. Ah, it was a simpler time, back when Flipper Zero was really the only multi-purpose hacking device in this space. So you can imagine the excitement within the Flipper community and the hacking community in general when this thing came out. All of a sudden, there's a new guy in town and he's claiming to be able to do everything the Flipper can do and more. What's also fun is it's got a cool little kind of Game Boy, um, uh, what's it called? Like. Form, fa form factor. It's got kind of a Game Boy form factor. Use big words once in an intro and all of a sudden words don't work anymore. Now, obviously the hacking community, the flipper community, we were all kind of skeptical and really interested to see what this thing would turn out to be. So let's hop on down to the desktop and we'll take a look at the Kickstarter and see what it's all about. All right, so here's the Kickstarter for the Cyper Pro. It's C-Y-P-E-R, it's not Cyber Pro, it's Cyper Pro. I know that there's a lot of confusion about that early on, so Cyper Pro. But yeah, if we take a look and scroll down, we can see, basically, yeah, it was started back in September, and since then, they've actually made a ton of goals, so they added a lot more features, it seems, to what they're offering. So I figured, why not actually watch their campaign video and uh, make some commentary along the way? All right, play. Yellow. Ready to unleash your inner hacker? <laughs> Introducing CyberPro. CyberPro is equipped with a powerful Wi-Fi module. Now you take control of the nearby networks, connecting... So yeah, this is the big thing that separates this from Flipper, is that it does have an ESP32 on board for Wi-Fi. Moving on. And manipulating them with ease. Unlock the power of infrared device control with CyberPro. From TVs and sound systems to air conditioners and more, CyberPro let- Yep, exactly the same as Slipper Zero. We got IR, easy, easy. Let you effortlessly command a variety of devices using its advanced infrared capabilities. And when it comes to enhancing your control, Cyber goes even further. It can seamlessly emulate a virtual keyboard in your existing scripts, allowing you to incorporate custom payloads and unlock endless... All right, so that is a little bit like, it's the exact same payload basically that Flipper used to demonstrate bad USB. Obviously they're using bad USB as well here. And yeah, so it's, it's again, pretty similar. All right. Possibilities. Communicate across frequencies using the sub one gigahertz module. CC Receive and transmit signals. Thing. Exactly. Enabling easy unlocking of barriers, garage doors, and various access points. From now on, store all access keys within a single device. Do you need store all access keys? And they show car keys again, and we all know that only some car keys, not very many, actually work with the flipper. They have rolling codes, etc. And I don't believe they have any real way of decrypting or figuring out the algorithms for rolling codes with this thing. But hey, I could be wrong. Need more range? For Cyber Pro, it's not a problem. Connect your external antennas using the SMA input. Choose the antenna you prefer. From now on, you can easily extend the range of your operation. Script and integrate your own... Okay, so having an external antenna is very cool. Honestly, definitely if that's something that they're gonna be able to do, much credit for that, very cool. Plugins in the CyberPro. The open source software seamlessly aligns with all SDK platforms. With the support of the community and your creative input, CyberPro strengthens its capabilities day by day. Now, that's a very important thing to know is that, again, like I've said with Flipper Zero, it is all about the community. And if the community gets behind this product, if it releases, when it releases, then the possibilities are really pretty much endless. 
CyberPro comes with an external GPIO input, allowing you to connect external devices and integrate them seamlessly with the device. Positioned like at the letter. back, Cyper proudly showcases NFC and RFID antennas. These cutting-edge features enable you to effortlessly scan an array of tags and access keys. Imagine storing an extensive collection of these. Yep, yep, we know all this stuff already. We've done this on the flipper. But again, it's just trying to be a flipper but better device. These tags all within a single device. You become the key to unlocking gates, doors, and even making swift, secure payments. The possibilities are- Okay, I call complete, complete bullshit on this. Absolutely no way. And the reason for this is if they do make this so it can copy credit cards, it will be probably banned everywhere. The possibility of, you know, fully skimming a credit card with this device will make it almost unsellable in most countries. But let's see what else there is. Or as limitless as your own creativity and needs. It's about having the power to control your world all within the palm of your hand. CyberPro will help you defend it's yourself against FA, malicious like hackers aiming to steal your password. The two-factor authentication security token ensures 100% security. And I'm willing to bet that they did not get the Windows security to UFA. So this works for some things just like the flipper, but I highly doubt that they got the license for the Windows to UFA. This feature is compatible with services like Gmail, Amazon, Facebook, and more. From and now on, you can rest peacefully. CyberPro is a multi-tool for hackers, designed for everyday hacking, easily fitting into your pocket or backpack. You don't need to worry about battery life while on the go. CyberPro is intended for both beginners and professionals in the- I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a little, a lot, a lot bigger than Flipper, which would make it a little bit cumbersome to carry around, but again, very, very cool. The field of cybersecurity, combining essential features in one package. So I have to admit that was pretty cool. It's got a lot of great features. It's got Wi-Fi. It does everything Flipper seems to do, but more. Obviously it's a bit bigger, but it's got a bigger screen, a better screen. So yeah, if they're able to actually create this thing, I'm on board. Now, as I said before, the Cypher Pro is not without controversy. Now, obviously when the Flipper Zero community heard about this, they wanted to take a deep dive and look at everything they could on this project. And what they found were some inconsistencies and what could be construed as plagiarism. But we'll get into that a little bit later. What we're gonna get into right now is a segue to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Hey, are you an up and coming Kickstarter and you wanna create the latest and greatest hacking tool? Well, guess what? PCBWay has got you covered. Somebody's gotta design and print that PCB for it. Well, guess what? They can help you with that. Wanna create something like a flexible PCB for the NFC board? They got you covered there too. Obviously, that product's gonna need an enclosure and PCBWay's got you covered there too. They can 3D print you and so many different types of materials. No matter what you want, they got you covered. Hey, get a little bit over your head in this whole project. Well, guess what? They have designed and engineers that can help you every step of the way. So hop on down to PCBWay.com and get yourself a free instant quote. As always, thank you so much PCBWay for your continued support. You guys are awesome. Let's get back at it. All right, so speaking of controversy, let's hop on over to their website and start poking around. All right, so this is the Cypher Pro website. It's actually really pretty good. It's very well designed. It's, it looks good. So obviously this isn't their first version of this. When this website first came out, it was definitely a lot more primitive. It wasn't quite as well done. So obviously, you know, a lot of work's been done. So this has a lot of the same information and the same stuff as their Kickstarter did. And if I kind of manually scroll, it'll look a little bit better. Yeah, and it just gives you a quick once over of everything on here. One of the things people notice is that there are some weird abnormalities, like what is RDIF? Now, obviously I know this is a relatively small mistake, but there seem to be a few of these poking around here and there. Let's keep on scrolling down, see what else they're showing. GPIO output, very similar to Flipper Zero. And keep on scrolling down here. Do, do, whoop, did I get it? Nope, here, but there we go. So yeah, it shows the size of the device. It's a chunky boy. It's definitely a chunky boy. But again, we got a much bigger screen and I believe a much bigger battery, which is kind of cool too. Keep on moving. And then, yeah, it kind of gives you an idea that they want to gamify hacking, which honestly, I'm a big fan of. I really like the idea of gamifying hacking. And they have like get tips as you're going through and actually running an attack. It'll give you tips on how to use the product, which again, is pretty cool. Moving on. Advanced Wi-Fi exploration, as you talked before. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity, very cool. 
Uh, car keys and tags. Let's not do that because that's not going to work. Garage doors and barriers. Again, most of those are rolling codes. So unless they figured out a way of figuring out the algorithms for those rolling codes, it's going to be really hard to use any of those features. Now, custom antenna. Again, I'm super excited about that. That's very, very cool. I'm super into custom antennas because you can really expand the range of like the CC1101 by a ton with a good antenna. Moving on, we have the, yep, 125 kilohertz antenna. We know that, NFC, you know, all that good stuff. Reading of debit cards, uh, it's really, really probably not gonna be something that can happen. I went really far into why Flipper Zero can't steal your credit card, and I have to assume that for the same reasons Flipper Zero can't do it, the Cypher Pro also can't. Of course, it's got IR for ultimate skidding. Everybody loves that. Uh, GPIO we talked about. It's got an SD card. Obviously, you're gonna need an SD card. Uh, for all any of this stuff to work. That's just how internal storage works. Moving right along. And now we have um, Embrace the Hacker Mindset. That's always fun stuff. Talking about open source firmware. We have our bad USB and our universal two-factor again. Doing even more stealing of Ducky scripts. Sorry guys over at Hack5. And yeah, shows all of the stats. All this stuff is good. Now getting down to the bottom here is where we start to get to some of the interesting parts of this whole thing. Now, obviously they do have a Discord, which is an interesting place to be at the moment. And we have a bunch of these links, but some things do weird stuff. So if we click on GitHub, it loads us into a login screen, which is a little weird. Let's go back. And then if we go to say the, what was it? The company page, right? So this is where some of the weirdness starts. If you go over to say Flipper Devices company page, we've got all these happy people here. And if we scroll down right here with mechanics, electronics, embedded software, mobile desktop support. And then we have Mecha Maestros, electronic aficionados, cold sculptors, digital virtuosos. That sounds familiar. Now, obviously imitation is the best form of flattery. I don't, I can't remember how that goes, but there's definitely some imitation going on here for sure. Now, probably one of the biggest things that brought the entire Flipper community into an uproar was this image. Now, this image talks about connecting the Cyper Pro app to the Cyper Pro. However, at number seven, you can see, confirm the pairing by tapping on the pair button in the Flipper mobile app. That's right, they pulled the exact same wording from Flipper's documentation, copied, pasted it, and forgot to change this one. Now, yes, I get it. Creating a device, making a website, making all the documentation, that takes a ton of work. And sometimes people try to take shortcuts. But the problem is this isn't a shortcut. This is stealing. Honestly, myself included, I kind of wrote the whole project off as kind of a scam at that point. Uh, I figured it was just a pump and dump Kickstarter where they were just gonna collect all this money, they are gonna copy their IP on the way along, and nothing would ever happen. Sure enough, there were plenty of people in the Flipper Zero community that were just as pissed off about it, and they took it directly to their Discord. And y'all know how that goes. Once things start getting ugly in Discord, it gets uglier and uglier. People started digging into absolutely everything. The video that we just watched, looking through each and every kind of indiscrepancy, every mistake, everything that was kind of, again, misconstrued like credit cards and really throwing it back in their face. Now, Sebastian, the CEO of Cypher Pro and the admin in the Discord has been trying as hard as possible to keep order, but there have been so many unanswered questions. They've also trickled out enough kind of new pictures and things like that for me to think that it's possible that this product really is going to come to fruition. Like, look, check out the shop here. Let's flip over here. And I mean, they put an awful lot of work into this for something to just be a pump and dump scam. It's not impossible, but there's a lot going on here. They did a ton of work and they did a really good job on the things that they didn't copy directly from Flipper. But I know you're busy, but things like a blog, just posting an update every once in a while is not too much to ask. Like, yeah, I believe they are posting some updates. Where are our updates? Updates, where are, they, where are we at here? January 7th. So again, we're posting some updates here, but again, use the blog, use the other stuff. It's starting to be a little bit like, where is this going? Also, the fact that they decided they wanted to do an aluminum case and titanium case um, seems to be probably not the best of ideas. Now, why they're wasting time and resources trying to figure out aluminum and titanium cases is really honestly beyond me. Like literally the last thing you should be spending time on is alternate materials for the external shell of your device. 
And also, if we hop on over to the Cypher Pro Discord, you'll notice that it's been, let's see, it's the 13th and it's the 21st today. It's been an awful long time since we heard from these guys. Not to mention, as a company, if you're gonna, you know, go radio silent from Discord for an awful long time, really not the best way to end everything, if you ask me. So yeah, that's kind of the rundown on the Cyper Pro. Now, would I pre-order one? Probably not, because I'm still kind of on the fence on just to whether or not this thing's ever going to happen. But that being said, a lot of these same things were said of Flipper Zero, and there were a lot of people that never thought Flipper Zero was going to get off the ground. But look at it now. So for the moment, I'm going to maintain a bit of a cautious optimism on the project because I really want it to exist. This thing's going to be cool as hell if it actually exists. But am I going to tell you guys to go out and pre-order them? No. Now, I've got a lot of buddies that purchase on the Kickstarter, and honestly, if this all falls through, there's gonna be an awful lot of angry people. Keep in mind, this is the hacking and cybersecurity community. These are not the type of people you wanna screw over. So yeah, that's my take on the Cyper Pro. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, making it all the way to the end. You guys are legends. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you next time.